There we are. And look at the cow, what the heck? Oh, he's like tripping out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. It is a Rainbow Shield Crab here, back with another episode of Scramble Craft. Today, we have so many crazy things to do, so many explosives to test. But first, I want to push this shield to the absolute limits. As you know, last episode, guys, or if you were not there, it blocked an infinity sword. Yes, this shield blocked infinity damage. I don't know how it did it. I want to test if other shields do that as well, because that would be pretty crazy. If I could somehow get a shield on my back, that is what I really wish for. Um, another thing I want to do in this episode is I am on the hunt for a little tiny block called a mob farm. So let's go ahead and look up a mob farm. Uh, I might have to... There it goes. So these little tiny mob farms that we're going to try to get, and I believe the ultimate mob farm, Inferno and Emerald, is ones we're really going towards because those can help hold nether uh, things. I don't know if the items that they generate are going to be randomized. Very well could be, though, which uh, with how my developer's mod works. So that could be awesome if we can get ra complete randomization just from a little tiny block. So that's awesome. That is what we are hunting for in this block generator currently that we have in our possession. And there's also a couple other things in here, guys, I want to show you. Where is the... Uh, there, that's a rat block. I think it's in this one, maybe? Actually, I think it's in the other chest. Let's go ahead and pop over here. We have ourselves a one and only... Dun, 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 well, three now. <laughs> an anvil explosive. So I looked up what this is. And actually, it's like TNT, but instead of like an explosion, it sends out anvils everywhere that is pretty awesome and i want to test that a little bit uh in a second so i also have this launcher platform t1 that apparently says holds missiles in place before they launch uh, and i think i had a couple of missiles somewhere i'll have to look at a look for them uh, i think they're in the randomized chest but how sick would it be if today in this episode we could figure out how to launch a mi whoa a spectrite boom block that's pretty cool looking. Now, uh, there was... So oh, this thing. A cruise launcher. We have a, another possibility of launching missiles with this as well. So let me go downstairs. I'm going to look for a, uh, a missile. I'm pretty sure we got one somewhere in these like random chests over here. Ah, oh, there it is. The debilitation missile. That is what it's called. A confusion and disorientation for all around. Sounds pretty epic to me. We are going to test that out today. See if we can launch it. And we are going to test the shield out. So here's what I want to do. To test the shield out, I want to uh, do some TNT explosions with it, and I also want to uh, do the anvil explosives and see if I can block it with the shield. How funny that would be. I would just bonk right in my head. So that is going to be pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and figure out what we want to do uh, in terms of the mob farm. How do we actually make... I think you need a lasso for the mob farms. Uh, yeah, tiny mob farm, there it is. So we have to make this as well. So let's go ahead and see how we make this. It looks like it's just a lead, two slime balls, and a uh, two diamonds. So that looks pretty easy. We can get slime balls and string pretty easily. Do we have string is the real question. I don't believe it's here, but it could be, it's easily gonna be at the other base. So let's go ahead back to the blocking area 1.0. And there's also uh, a something I need to get for slime balls as well. As you can see, slime balls in the crafting table, they require amaranth. It's actually really easy. I was looking at this a, little, a bit earlier. We can make infinite slime balls essentially. And luckily we have some uh, market block right here with an amaranth seed. And yes, this uh, yes, I did set this up before, guys. So I'm not just randomly clicking on this. So we'll go ahead and grab three amaranth seeds. So now we have infinite uh, slime balls, essentially. So now what we're looking for is the string, which is going to be pretty much everywhere. We got some string right there. We got some string in that thing. We got some string over there. It's all over the place. What in the world? There it is, perfect. Fantastic. All right, so where should we test this missile stuff at? Let's go ahead and fly. Ooh, this thing looks... What the heck? This thing looks crazy. <laughs> All right, let's fly over here a little bit. Um, just in case it backfires and expl explodes, I don't want it to be near my base like the other episode. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, God, it's going! Fly up! Okay, okay. Wait! What? How is this so close to my base? Ah! That was a very... That was a tragedy, let's just say that. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this has to be powered, but let's go ahead and put that down. And plunk. Oh, holy crap. Okay. It's, uh, now the chicken. You're, you're gonna want to get out of here, chicken. Let me tell you that right now. I'm doing some crazy stuff. So, uh, now I don't know how to actually launch the thing. We might actually have to... Oh, what if I have a flint and steel? Will that launch it? That would be so funny if it did. Let's place this cruise launcher down. And let's see, frequency, a cruise launcher, no power, uh, launch. 
torch. Okay, does this require... Okay, I don't think this is going to help us at all because we have no power. Now, how do we power these things is another problem all in together. So, we're going to go ahead and mine this up, and then we're just going to go ahead and go back to the uh, anvil explosives. We'll test that out a little bit. Now, you guys in the comments have also said that I needed to shift right-click or something with the world breaker and the planet eater. So, that is what we're going to do right now. What does it do? Well, we're about to find out. First, the shovel. So, obviously, uh, not shift right-click and just mix roads. And this is really fast, but shift right-click... D does nothing. G guys, you hype me up for no reason? You're gonna hype me up for no- Wait. <gasps> Planet Eater Azumarang? What the heck is that? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! <gasps> oh, now I'm starting to get it. <gasps> Wait, is that random items? Is this what Cody was using? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen. We have our very own Matter Cluster Maker. Finally! I've been wanting this for so long to get random items. Holy crap. Uh, I think the, all the random items are going to be coming from leaves, right? Or no, it just works for dirt. That is so weird. What is the zoom ring exactly doing? I'm so confused. It breaks one block and then it breaks everything around it. Like, that's the same block? No, it doesn't look like it. That is so strange. But we have 4,096 items after like 20 seconds of using this item. So we now officially have a way faster than the uh, the beetroot way to get random items. So guys, that is huge. Now, let's also do the world breaker. Okay, it says fortune 10 world breaker. Oh! This does it as well! <laughs> guys! We are going to be the strongest player on this server without a doubt. We have in my left hand the Planet Eater, in my right hand the World Breaker. And uh, obviously for, from long range we're going to have the missiles from ICBM. This is going to be awesome. And the matter clusters to get the random missiles. Oh man, I'm excited. Alright, but first... Wait, right, did I just see a boss? A Necromancer. Ne Hello, Necromancer, you around here? Oh, there you are. Let's see if I use this on these guys. <laughs> oh, it's not doing anything. I think it's lagging, maybe? <laughs> Matter cluster. Come on, eat everything! <laughs> Boom! Boom! Yeah, obviously these... The, yeah, just die. You, you're no match for my godly powers. Alright, the Spectra. I keep thinking this is an infinity block. Um, okay, so let's get the anvil explosives and let's test out this uh, the shield. I guess we could test it out against the boss. So the necromancer boss is really crappy though, so we'll just fly away. We don't want him, anyways. Whoa, there's a volcano. Hello, hello. <laughs> Big. All right. Uh, so whoa. Uh oh, helicopter. Now let's really test the shield. Come on then, shoot your missiles. Block it! Ah, oh, come on, shoot him! Go! Oh, I missed it just by an inch. Oh, there it is! There it is! There it is! Boom! It blocks missiles. This shield is awesome. Come on! Come on then! Come on, bruv! Just another missile for you, lad. Bring it on! Come on then! I don't know what that is. That's a random projectile. Boom! <laughs> The shield is invulnerable from damage. I love it. All right, let's fly quickly over here just to de-aggro the helicopter, and we are going to use the anvil explosives. Blomp. So I think, luckily, I prepared a lever for us. Let's go ahead and grab that out and put it next to this thing. And I'm pretty sure to set it off, I just got to flick the lever. So, and then let me go ahead and flick it with my hand. That way, when I right-click, I can easily block it. All right, so I think... <laughs> It's five seconds and this thing blows up, so I don't know how, how long of a radius. Hopefully it's pretty small, just a lot of ambles. All right, three, two, one, go! Oh, run away! Block it with the shield! Let's see what happens. Oh! <laughs> that was cool! Okay, it looks like it's a 10 to 15, maybe 20. Oh, it's going, it's still going off! Oh god, uh, block, block, block! Here it is! Oh! <laughs> It blocked all the shields, or the uh, the anvils. Alright, let's, let's stand right underneath it. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the most dangerous thing I've ever done in my life. Standing under... Ah! I blocked everything, though. 
I thought they would stay around after they exploded, but apparently not. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I kind of like that. It's uh, pretty trolly. So maybe... Oh, let's see what the recipe is, actually. Let's see if we can make it. Anvil. Oh, it looks like it's an easy one. Oh, it's just pepper jelly, crackers, and a cutting board. Um, I guess that's not that hard, but if it's not worth it to do all that stuff. What the? A rainbow? There's a rainbow right here next to this base. Where did this thing come from? Is there a pot of gold somewhere? Hello, pot of gold. Where are you? Apparently not. All right, let's break in through this. What if we could world break into this whole thing? <laughs> Just the layer. Boom! <laughs> your base is gone. I'll be taking your treasure. Uh, that wasn't really that much. Uh, anyway, so well, let's head back to base. Let's get some amaranth. And, uh, let's, yeah, Spectre Dimension. Here we go. And let's see if there is anything in uh, the block or generator. Oh, yes! A wooden mob farm. And I didn't cheat because I just I just received the recipe. You don't think I cheat, ladies and gentlemen. That was uh, pretty nice. It's got a little coincidence going on there. And let's check this little... It get, usually gets stuff up right here. Um, and the second chest, nothing. So we got a crappy wooden mob farm. Come on, bro. It can't even farm hostile mobs. Generates loots every 50 seconds. I think it's so trash, man. Well... We have still a lot of things to do. Let's go ahead and uh, get some slime balls just so we can get, get the lasso going. Um, sorry, beetroot seeds. We're going to put amaranth right there. Woohoo! Infinite slime balls. The beauty of scramble craft. No, we don't want randomized items. We want a stack of slime balls. Let's go ahead and put this in its own little thing. Slime ball chest. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yee! We'll put some seeds in there. We'll put the beer today as well. Let me get organized for a second. Be right back. Okay, all the important stuff in this book bag because what I want to do right now is open up one of these matter clusters and show you guys the craziness that is what they obtain inside of them. Uh, golden lasso. Yeah, we'll put that in there as well. Levers. Sure, why not? All right, it is time. Let's open up this bad boy. Let's get next to a chest so we can easily put everything in there and hopefully no uranium. Ha! Lots of dirt. Okay, I wasn't expecting that much dirt. Ooh, ooh. ooh we got an, in uh, an empty injection randomly from that. So it looks like the matter cluster wasn't a lot of stuff, just a lot of dirt. Uh, well, now we have uh, materials from a house to make. <laughs> let's open up this. Ooh, this looks like a lot more cool stuff. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got. We got a battery, a diamond spectrite sword. Interesting. Unstable ingot, divide by diamond. I'm pretty sure that blows up. We're going to go ahead and just get rid of that. Uh, anything new here? Nope. Doesn't look like anything too crazy. Next chest. Come on. Get time in a bottle. Oh. Okay. Well, that's just counting time, I suppose. Look at all that. Look at all these items. Put everything in there. Advancement made. Jiggity jig. What the heck does that mean? How many random items does I have? I think it just took everything from the gravel and just like randomized everything. This is so overpowered. I still have so much to go and put everything in. There it is, guys. I'm pretty sure we just filled like four chests full of random items. That was crazy. And we got another, some more dirt. Yay. Uh, let's go ahead and just place that right there. So let's go ahead and scan quickly what we have here. We got a troll idol, which is interesting. Maybe we could put the troll inside of the uh, the diamond mob farm. That would be pretty interesting. A tachyon prototype, we don't need that crap. A watering can, nope, no sir. Spell book, nope. Next chest down here. What is that? Superman Black's chest plate? That's kind of awesome. I didn't know there was a Superman Black. That is pretty awesome. What is this ring? Green of air walking creates an invisible bridge in your path. We don't need that. What we really need is some missiles, man. A railgun. Oh. What? Holy crap, this thing looks pretty cool, actually. What the heck? All right, back to the next chest is going to be this one. We got an LMG. Uh, I remember when LMGs were like OP at the very beginning of the ser series. Now they're kind of junk. And that, other than a billion dirt, looks about it. Oh, ICBM. There's a battery. Okay, so we use this FE as its power source. Very interesting. We're gonna have to definitely look up how to power the uh, the missiles here. So, most important thing is we got a real gun. Let's go out and, and test it. Wait, what do we, uh, let's check our slime ball. Okay, we got the string. Where's our string? Oh God, I might have thrown the string uh, away randomly. Yep, that's probably what I did. Oh God, I gotta sift through all this crap now. And let's grab our slime balls. 
And uh, let's see the recipe for string, actually. Maybe it's really easy. Looks like there's a lot. Ooh. Soybean for string. Not bad. Wait, I think I have that ingot. Titanium ingot. And what about soybean? Soybean anywhere? I don't think so, but I can easily just buy that with an emerald, so that should be no problem at all. Well, so we have infinite string, essentially. So we got a bunch more string over here. <laughs> the problem is every chest has, like, one, so that is uh, a little bit annoying, but, you know, we're making do. Okay, that one has four. Where'd all the rest of my string go? Right there. All right, so let's make a lead to the crafting table. There it is. Slime ball right in the middle, and then a string. I don't know why it's lagging. Oh, my, all my items are flashing and going crazy. Oh, crap. I needed to... Uh, Okay, we need a vanilla recipe, so back to the Spectre Dimension. Nice, okay, so just grab uh, default recipes for 30 seconds. We need diamonds. Crap, we only have one diamond. Ah, whatever, we have two diamonds. <laughs> there we are. All right, so we're going to do uh, default recipe scroll now. Uh, the slime ball in the middle, string to get the lasso right there. And then we need two diamonds and then two slime balls right there and there. Gives ourselves... A lasso! We got it! Right click on mob to capture. Um, now, do we want to see if this works with a troll idol? Yes, we do. And if we uh, if, if it doesn't work, then I'm just going to probably test the railgun out on the troll and see how much damage a railgun can possibly do. I'm so excited. The railgun possibly could do a lot of damage. Power usage 10 million a shot. That's insane. Hopefully it one-shots the troll idol. That'd be awesome. If that's the case, then we're definitely doing a dupe party. Um, okay, actually, let me go grab a dupe party score right now. Because if it one-shots the troll idol and I can spawn a god-tier amount of them, then we ain't we in business, ladies and gentlemen. All right, to the oh no, I used it, I used it. Oh, we got it. Oh god, that was bad. I accidentally right-clicked to use the the teleport thing, but it didn't work. Okay, we gotta throw the tro troll idol down. Okay, twenty seconds to spawn troll idol. Any t any day now. <laughs> Come on, spawn, spawn. <laughs> okay, and right click. Oh, it does a lot of damage. Oh, it, oh, and he's dead. Do party, go, 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 go. It does a lot of damage, but it's running out of, well, actually, it has so much power. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Kill all the trolls. Die, real gun is awesome. It's doing so much damage. Oh, the do party's off. Um. Okay, now we gotta we gotta test the lasso. Oops, uh, crap. Come on, Mr. Lasso, work. No, it isn't working on the troll. <laughs> you hit me really high. Right click on mob to capture it. Unfortunately, I don't think it works on bosses. Is there a chicken in that car? What the world? <laughs> He's like, yes. This is what I'm talking about. What, what the heck is that? We got a a lotto totem, uh, a bunch of advent stuff. Let's go ahead and round and pick everything up and let's throw away all the useless stuff all right everything is gone and uh nightwing's chest plate red death's mask that's pretty cool what is a pirate interesting well let's go back to the spectre dimension now that we know this actually let's pick up a random mob uh how about a llama sure uh, no we'll do a cow Wah. okay and it's glowing so that means there's a cow in it okay let's go back and test our our mob farm all right, right here. Let's get the mob farm, which is, I believe, in the book bag. There it is right there. Let's place this down. Bonk. Right there. Oh, it's pretty big, actually. And put the lasso in it. Hopefully it doesn't use the lasso. Oh, it uses it to put it in there. Insert a lasso to activate. But, like, I, it is a lasso. Oh, I didn't. Stupid cow. <laughs> get in there. Perfect. All right, we got a cow now. And we might need to put a chest uh, to, like, right next to it. So uh, we have a chest right there. So let's grab that. What floor is this? The fourth floor. Perfect. There we are. And look at the cow. What the heck? Oh! <laughs> He's, like, tripping out. Let's put that right there. Hopefully it goes up into that chest. I'm pretty sure it does. All right. Let's uh, throw away these seeds. It uh, doesn't matter. Okay. So this is the bar that it goes up, and then it obviously generates an item after it gets to the end and let's see if it's randomized or milk potentially if it's bucketed milk that's actually pretty sick all right let's go down and check our blocks see if we got any cooler mob farms a spectrite anvil that is sick let's go ahead and put some of, uh, some of the scrolls in here so we got some space and let's put down the pirate is he like an npc he is oh god he's coming after me get back yeah you 
You thought you were gonna out heal me. <laughs> All right, up here, and let's check the filter. Uh, it's got nothing really in it, nothing really in it. So all the cool items must be in this shit right here. <gasps> yes, ladies and gentlemen, we got an ultimate mob farm, the best. Mob generates loot every point five seconds. Are you kidding me? Hundred percent chance to. Oh my god, this is like creative mode mob farm. We just got the best one immediately. Now, I wonder, ladies and gentlemen. Can we lasso the Ender Dragon or something similar to it? I can't believe we got that lucky. That's awesome. The, ulti the, the worst mob farm and the best mob farm in one episode. Today is a good day. Crap, there was so much content today that I, I kind of lost track of the video time. We are running over a little bit uh, what the video length should be, but you know, we're having fun. That's all that matters. Let's put this Spectrite Anvil down and let's start winding things uh, down a little bit here. We actually have two. Rainbow Spectra and Anvils. That's pretty cool. Oh, I forgot about the sword. I gotta test that as well. 10 attack damage. A Spectrite damage 2. I wonder if Spectrite means like infinite damage. Something like that. That would be pretty awesome. We'll have to test that, obviously. But yeah, the shield held up pretty good. It's blocking. Oh, look at this. I'm fully kitted in rainbow gear, ladies and gentlemen. Except I don't have the Spectrite armor. <laughs> Do I want to be a complete RGB for the win? Holy crap, I'm looking forward to uh, getting a full armor of Spectrite. That's going to be awesome. We will have to call it there. We got so much done today. We got so lucky with the mob farm. We we found out that the, the anvil explosion is kind of garbage. The shield blocks pretty much everything. So, man, we are on the... Oh, my God. That's a lot of amaranth. I should probably I should probably collect that. Oh my god, that, 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 that's too much. That's too much amaranth. <laughs> and we also learned how to uh, get ra uh, infinite random items with the world breaker and the planet eater. So thank you guys in the comments. What the heck is that? Oh, that's the world breaker. Uh, I got two of them. Huh? Oh yeah, I got two. Okay, uh, but yeah, thanks. Uh, shout out to the comments for telling me to shift right click with those. Without that, I would not get infinite items. You are the winners here. Ladies and gentlemen in the comments, thank you so much. But this is the end of the episode. Where is my rainbow sword? There it is. You guys have a very rainbow day. Look at that. Woo! Look at that transition. Woo! Goodbye, guys. Cattlecraft signing out.